This village is the perfect location for our new missile base. It's centrally located within striking range of our prime targets. Now, KGB command wants that village secured immediately. <sighs> if not for those damn guerrillas, I would have succeeded by now. General Karpov, they don't call themselves the untouchables for nothing. It's too damned hard to locate them. General, are we any closer to locating their headquarters? No, Simmons, we are not. But I did find out where their financial backing is coming from. A Mr. Johnson is coming to the village tomorrow. It's a good chance for us. Yes, after tomorrow they won't be playing cat and mouse much longer. Let's see how far they can get without any financial support. General, I'd like to lead a squad to handle the banker. No, that won't be necessary. I've already told Orson to take care of things. I think he can handle it. For the time being, we just sit back and wait for the results. I haven't seen you for a long time. How are things going? Hmm, not bad. Some trouble, though. You know, Karpov struck us. And this time he has kidnapped Johnson. That Karpov, he knows what he's doing. Without someone to support you financially, you can't go on fighting for much longer, can you? Well, Brian, that's why I called you in. If mm -hmm. we can just neutralize Karpov's operation, then we have a good chance of maintaining mm -hmm. the balance of power in the region. Mm -hmm. I think it's too late to save Johnson now. But I'll see what I can do about Karpov. Sounds good? All right. Mm -hmm. Brian O'Reilly is a highly decorated Vietnam veteran. After the war, he became a member of the elite American force. His skills in guerrilla warfare and martial arts are unsurpassed. Given the choice, he prefers to work alone. Although for particularly dangerous and complex operations, he will call in his longtime friend, the White Tiger. No one here. Nothing. Hold it. 
Oh, we'll have a good harvest this year. Yeah, I hope so. Here. No! No! You have been seen with a member of the Untouchables. What do you know about them? Talk! Nothing! No! Uh, please! You're mistaken! Am I now? You better talk if you want to live. Uh, don't shoot! One. I finished him off. Now that's been really considerate of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> First, Matt was killed. Then Austin's men were captured while making that gun deal. We must be more vigilant. General Karpov, it was Brian O'Reilly who killed Matt. I know that. Things have become more complicated now that the Americans have decided to interfere. I don't understand why they only sent one agent. Because that one man can do more damage alone than 20 men together. Simply put, he's the best. We have to get rid of him then. Good idea. Of course we have to get rid of him, idiot. Hugo. Yes, sir. Arrange it. No problem. Now, Samson. I want to send a squad in to take care of those cops. We must teach those villages who they're dealing with. Yes, sir. <laughs> You are Brian O'Reilly, if I'm not mistaken. And you are? I am your worst nightmare. I guess Karpov sent you to kill me, huh? That's right. <laughs> you don't look so tough to me. Don't judge a book by its cover. You'll be needing some weapons. What a useless guy. Don't worry, sir. I won't let that happen. I will. That was Moscow. They're not happy at all about the situation here. If it was just the untouchables, things would be simple. But the American agent? Brian O'Reilly has been on our blacklist for too long. It's time we crossed him out. 
But we don't know where he is. I think we don't need to look for him. I have been checking his files, and if I'm not wrong, he'll be coming soon for us. In that case, we should prepare for him. Yes, notify the welcoming party. Yes, sir. <laughs> A little further. Deuces were wild. <laughs>
I never thought I'd see you die. You saved my life many times, and I've saved yours more than once. I guess our luck just ran out, old buddy.